estimation begins at the project level. Every estimate is located within a project. On the projects page, you can create and edit and delete projects. To create a new project, select the Create Project button and enter the project data into the pop-up window. You can see here that you also have the ability to invite others to have access to this project. All you have to do is enter their email addresses here at the bottom of this window. When all the information is in place, just hit the Create button. As a reminder, all of the projects that are created within Estimation MEP are also accessible directly in Trimble Connect. After a project is created, the next step is to create an estimate within that project. On the left side nav, you will see you are now in the estimates area and you can create a new estimate by selecting the Create Estimate button. You can also open an existing estimate by double clicking on it in the list. When a new estimate is created, a window will appear that allows you to add information about the estimate. You can see here you also have the option to fill in other information such as the industry and the uh, units of measure that you want to use for this estimate. After this, you will then be prompted to create an estimate takeoff with drawings or without drawings. For this video, I'm going to select a takeoff with drawings. You are now, the next step is to upload the drawings for your estimate. For this demonstration, I'm just uploading a single drawing, but you can also upload a file that had, contains multiple drawings and all of the individual drawings will be displayed in the drawing list. After the drawings have been uploaded, you can select the drawing image to start takeoff, or you can select the takeoff option on the left side navigation to start the takeoff process. From this drawings list, you can also set the scale for a drawing and then you can download or delete it later. When you select the takeoff option on the left side navigation, you'll be taken to the takeoff area. From here, you can select the drawing you want to use and set its scale here if this has not already been done. After this is done, you are ready to start takeoff. The audit trail shows the list of items that are included in the takeoff. The next step is to find an item to add to your takeoff. Favorites contains customer defined lists of commonly used items from the database to speed up takeoff. Assemblies allow you to find Trimble curated assembly or you can select a user defined assembly that was built in Workbench. The library allows you to search from trade service or from lists of customer defined items. The custom items are where customer defined items that only apply to this estimate are created and selected for takeoff. To show the takeoff process, I will search for an item in trade service. From here, you can use the drill downs to find the item you are looking for, or you can do a keyword search. After you have found the item you are looking for, you can select it and then press the takeoff button. The takeoff panel will open from the right hand side. At this point, you can start drawing the annotation on the drawing and you can also add a work breakdown structure label to the item. You can also add a custom work breakdown labels at this point also. As you draw the annotation, the total cost and total labor are incremented at the bottom of the takeoff panel. When the annotation has been completed, 
press the Commit button to add it to the estimate. The next step is to repeat this process for the rest of the items that you want to add to your estimate. You can create your own assemblies that can be used across estimates by accessing the embedded Workbench assembly application. To Workbench is found under the My Content option in the left-hand side navigation. Workbench can be accessed by selecting the Assembly Library option at the top of the screen. To help show the remaining workflow, I'm going to select an existing estimate and utilize that. After you have added all of your items to the estimate, you can review them in the audit trail. You can apply filters to a column or multiple columns to find specific items. From the audit trail, you can replace an item, delete an item, and duplicate an item via the icons above the audit trail on the right hand side. The next step is to select the summary option in the left-hand navigation. The summary page shows the bill materials of the items in the estimate all rolled up, so each row is a unique item in the estimate. You can apply filters to a column or multiple columns to find specific items. You can show or hide columns as desired, and you can group items together based on work breakdown labels or other criteria to see the cost and labor for each group. You can apply multiple groups at the same time to further subcategorize groups of items. Estimation MEP is connected to Supplier Exchange, and this allows you to quickly get up-to-date pricing from your distributors. The icons for this are in the upper right-hand corner of the screen. Your bill of materials can be sent to one or multiple suppliers to get up-to-date pricing when building an estimate. This is done by pressing the Get Prices button. After a job has been won, you can send the bill of materials to Supplier Exchange to start the procurement process, and this is initiated by selecting the Supplier Exchange icon. Setting up connections to your suppliers can be found under the My Suppliers option in the left-hand side navigation in the lower left-hand corner. Selecting the closeout option on the left-hand side navigation allows you to add other costs to your estimates and you can add additional expenses like tax and overhead. In this area, there are multiple sections to capture a variety of other expenses like labor and equipment. Final pricing allows you to add in things like tax, overhead, and markup to the individual sections of the estimate, or you can add these costs globally to the whole estimate.